Okay, hello, greetings and welcome. Now, when we're uh, working with hermetics, you're going to get plateaus in your practice. And usually this is a, a level where your concentration reaches and you can't move past that. And so this video, we're going to address how to get breakthroughs in your concentration, whether it's for visualization, whether it's for learning, whether it's for uh, concentration and healing, whatever your, your path is. Okay, so we're going to frame this in the elements as I usually do. And we'll start off with the earth element method for breaking through and concentration. So the, this first method is looking at the static that accompanies the concentration. When you're releasing on a, on a task or, a, or an exercise of some type, there's a, the, the static is contained in the awareness itself. So you can't release and break through it because because it's a part of the mind. So what we do with the earth method is before you do your practice, enter stillness. So sit very, very, very quietly and don't engage anything. Just observe stillness and let yourself melt into the stillness. So you're not doing an exercise of any kind other than paying attention to stillness and identifying with it and let all the static in your mind stop. And then once you've spent a few minutes engaging that stillness and dissolving the static that is a part of the mind itself, then you commence your exercise. So that static which is preventing you from deeper concentration is removed before you concentrate on the exercise at hand. So this is the earth method. Sit in stillness before practice. Then we move up the vibrational scale to the water, water methods. And the water methods um, surround passion. Now, when you're uh, uh, engaging in a particular practice, there's a frequency or a feeling of excitement and fun which accompanies certain practices. And when you engage that frequency of excitement, something inside the spirit is woken up. The spirit engages the concentration, the activity. And you take all the, the physical excitement away, the astral, the mental, and you just take that one part of the spirit that is having fun with the meditation and the concentration and you use that as an arrowhead to dive into the exercise that you're doing. So it's a very, very pure type of identity with the exercise that you're doing. It's a strong, deep cohesion. It's a oneness with the practice that you're doing. So this unity of mind that happens through this aspect of the spirit that identifies and there's a type of enjoyment and passion and fun inside of it. There's doorway, you move through that. And you've got to find that within yourself, within the practice that you're doing. If we were to look at an opposing frequency, if let's say what you're doing is boring or it's like hard work, it's like, ah, oh, man, I, I can't do this. You're on the wrong track. You've got to find the passion, remove the emotional content, go to the light of the passion, engage that and identify with the exercise, become it, and then ride that wave. Take that hour ahead and move through the, using these water methods for increasing concentration. Further up the vibrational scale is the uh, fire method. Now the fire method, we look at um, uh, chemistry, fight and flight instinct. Flight is emotional and erratic. Fight is one pointed and concentrated. So you breathe the fire element in, you tune your mind to pure willpower, to that fight response within the reptilian brain. And then you go to the mind substance of that and you use that as a vehicle to concentrate. And the key to success with this particular method is there's a level of purity of will with peripheral static. You have to dissolve the peripheral static and move into the pure will of the fire element to direct the concentration. So fire breathing methods, dissolve all the periphery and put your mind one pointed into that center of gravity of the concentrated mind, the essence of concentration through the fire pillar. Up the vibrational scale, air methods. Now each of these pillars has lots of different um, angles, lots of different aspects to it. And I cover them on the Vimeo channel. So this for YouTube is a simple introduction. Now, the, the, the air methods relate to insight and understanding. When you study the material 
that you're, you're uh, working on. So let's say you're working through the initiation of Hermetics text and you mind map the entire text really efficiently and you can see the big picture and every exercise that you've done, you've journaled it really well and transferred your journal onto a large mind map on the wall. Your mind gets a sense of where it's going, how to do things. And this understanding, this insight into the practice leapfrogs you ahead in your concentration. It kind of creates a mental hologram of where you're going so that when you go there, you get pulled forward. A lot of people, when they concentrate, they don't really know where they're going. So they sit where they are, not where they want to be because they haven't got that uh, air element awareness fully open as to, to how to achieve and get to where they, they, they want. So this is all about education. Do your homework, study the information really well, journal really well, contemplate really well. And then when you practice, there's a type of self-fulfilling prophecy through insight and understanding that takes you where you want to go. So these are the air methods. They surround this methods of mind mapping, understanding and journaling your path. Then when we move up to the next level, Akasha level, at an entry level to Akasha, we have prayer. Now, if before you enter into any type of uh, spiritual practice, you engage in prayer, everything becomes quiet. There's a deep sense of humility. There's a type of water devotion inside prayer. There's a type of reverence in the fire pillar. There's a type of sacredness in the air pillar. And there's a deep, profound stillness and communion with your highest. And then when you touch that highest, which is a higher part of you, you concentrate through that. So this is an <clears throat> uh, introductory method for utilizing Akasha and prayer to increase concentration. Okay, so I hope this helps with your, uh, your uh, hermetics practice and, uh, and gets you moving forward at a faster rate. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next video.